Rumpus Room, episode eight. I don't know what that is in Roman numerals, but... One IV skin, that's foreskin. Um, housekeeping, number one. Brooke Gibson, the person that won your T-shirt has not come to collect their prize. That was part of my housekeeping too. Okay. Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I did reply to the comment from that episode, I think it was episode five, where we were giving away some merch, to DM me and we'll get it sent out to you. <laughs> haven't heard yet, <laughs> so I started wearing it. No, <laughs> haven't heard yet, so get in touch. Um, and we'll get that sent out to you ASAP. Nice. Also, I've got housekeeping as well. Mm-hmm. I've lost 10 centimetres off my waist. Yeah, 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 How yeah, good, yeah. everyone? Look at that. Are we on a, a fitness journey? All right, Q4 is just... And Matt, that's, that's news. That's news at the start of Q4. Imagine what we're going to be towards the end of Q4. True. Do I look like um, Mike Fight? Yeah. <laughs> Think you're the shit. Bitch, you ain't even the fart. Well, it's great to be here for another episode of The Rumpus Room. Yeah. Um, we've got new stuff in the back. Oh, it's, yeah. a, it's, a co- it's a constant work in progress. Constant work in progress, but hey, that's The Rumpus Room. Uh, every time, say you didn't own a rumpus room at your house. Yep. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what a rumpus room is, it's kind of like the extra room. There There was always bean bags, maybe it's TV. It's like the kids' playroom. The rich ones had a pool table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was, you know, you'd go to your mates and maybe it'd be a month and and then they, you go there again, and there's a new toy or something. So yeah. it's like it's a similar thing, you know. Just a bit, a little bit ragtag, but that's us. Yeah, and it might just, you know, it just. Will... What's what's on yours? Uh, I've got a uh, ace of clubs here. Nice. Uh, I've got some sort of uh, silver sphere there. Yeah, what are those? Um, I'm not not sure. I think sure, they're probably just display spheres, aren't they? Because they go up. At, they're like the Russian dolls of dis- dis- <laughs> yeah, display they all, spheres. They all actually. Spe- fuck me. They all go. <laughs> You're a fucking spacehead. They all actually go inside each other. Yeah, like the Russian dolls. I've seen that. <laughs> what the book? Um, the- and <laughs> and I don't care. I don't want to know what you watch, mate. Um, and this. Gee, I'll send you a link after. Don't. This I've actually this is a work in progress, but I'm kind of wanting this, and I'm going to put some lemons and oranges in it. What have you got in your? We have thought: will they be fresh produce, or will they be? Um, we'll get them display, fake. We'll display. get them fake. And uh, mine, I haven't quite figured out what exactly I wanted, so I quickly <laughs> barnstorm run grabbed whole lots of shit from around the George office. Uh, that's a Waikato cowbell. Uh, yeah, hold on. Oh. Uh, that's huge at the rugby matches in the Waikato. And then these are all little ducks. Uh, people win those if they win the duck derby that's every Friday. Talk about, honestly, that has single-handedly brought back work, work, work culture at MediaWorks. The duck derby on a Friday. Yeah. Uh, if your workplace is maybe lacking a bit of, a bit of get up and go on a Friday, hey, take a leaf out of our book. Look up duck derby on the internet. Um, the internet will do the rest, but it's basically a virtual race. There's no, you just put your name in for one of the ducks. It's a 60 seconds long. Someone wins. It's a good hooroo. And there's, it's hundred percent luck. There is no skill involved because you don't do anything. You just press go. Boy, I wonder now that G boy is um, technically a contractor or he's got an email address. Well, he's technically a works oh, at MediaWorks, yeah. right? I wonder if you can actually now submit for the duck derby. Do you get all the emails? Do you get, yeah, 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 yeah. do oh, you get all MediaWorks emails? Like when it's like send all? Do you get like the feed or something? I, don't, I, don't, I haven't gotten the old uh, like. He hasn't even checked it yet. You know, He's like, not checked it. There's, there's, there's extra stuff from reception. I haven't got any of those. So I'm not on, um, <laughs> I reckon we'll loop you into the duck derby thing, so you can start coming up on a Friday and partaking in the duck derby. Also, no, you're gonna fucking love it. Don't yeah. try it. You trying to act too cool for the duck derby, babe? There's beers. Uh, also, <laughs> also, uh, let us know in the comment section. Is G's mic? We've got him a mic. That's right. Good boy, G. Boy's got yeah, a mic. Jack, is it loud enough? Let us know. Jack Nolan. I think his name's Jack Nolan. That's been on our case about that. Let us know if um, G's mic's loud enough. Uh, okay, I'm going to give my mum a call. Oh, hell yeah. Jilly Jampots. Jilly Jampots is my mum. She's a weapon. Does she know it's coming? No. Cold call. Love it. Cold call. But also, she's my emergency contact. So if she doesn't answer... She goes, Sinead? This is going to be a test. Hello? Hi, mum. How are you, love? I'm good. I am on the podcast right now, and I just needed to give you a call um, to ask you one question. Oh, gosh. Okay. Is it true? Did I get suspended in year seven? Suspended in year seven? I think it was year 10 you got suspended. That's even worse. <laughs> that's even worse, Jill. <laughs> that's, that's, that is even worse. Wait, are you... I know. I, so I, I, did get, I did definitely get suspended, hey? Like, I had to stay at home with you for a little bit. 
Yes. And, yes. And, Must be nice. And, Mum, did you um, end up grounding me because you felt like you had to but you didn't want to? Yes, totally. Checks out. <laughs> okay, that's all I needed for, for my story that I'm about to talk about on the podcast. I love you. I'll give you a proper call later. Bye. Bye, Jill. Bye. So. Okay, here we go. I don't think it was year 10, but anyways. I was rudely reminded the other day about a scenario that happened in year 10 where it involved me putting my nose in it a little bit too much. Um, let's call him Matt. Matt was the naughty one at school, right? Okay. And I would say I was a goody good at school. I was cheeky. I pushed the boundaries in terms of like authority. Like I wanted to be mates with my teachers. But you weren't malicious. But I was never malicious. I was never rude or yeah, I was never considered a naughty kid. I was considered probably a bit of a bitch at times because I was a bit fast and loose with what I said, what came out of my mouth. And it kind of got me in trouble a bit of time, a few times. And I apologize if anyone's watching from my school. Um, So one day we were getting our work checked in class and I went up to my teacher and I was kind of you know she was sitting like that and I was sitting here so I could see access I could see what was on her laptop I'm I'm year 10 of course I'm gonna have a little gander at what's on the fucking work laptop she had emails open oh yeah so I just you know had a little one two look over the email how old is this teacher roughly at the time 48 49 people say yeah, matched her blouse with her shoes every day. Um, anyways, I looked over at her emails and what it said on there was, Matt has been caught watching porn on the school computers. He will now be ex- uh, expelled or suspended. I can't remember which one it was. And I thought, fuck, this is some juicy goss. I should probably keep this to myself. I didn't. Oh, spoiler alert. I didn't go and spread it. I wasn't a gossiper. Spoiler alert, I was. I went and told him. I said, mate, you're getting expelled. You've you've been caught out watching porn on the school computers, you idiot. Did he go did he freak out being like, How do you already know but I don't know? He freaked out. He went to the teacher, he said, Sinead's just told me by the way, my real name's Sinead. Sinead's just told me that I'm getting expelled because you caught me watching porn on the computers and they thought that little fucking bitch. So instead of suspending Matt, they suspended me. So what? Matt got off scot free. Matt got off scot free. He passed the blame to you. He, well, basically, yeah. And so my mum How's had never possible? really dealt with that any sort of thing before. And so she thought, well, she's been suspended. I Does that mean I've got to now expel her? Uh, does that mean I've got to now um, ground her? So like, I wasn't allowed to go and have a hotel for the whole week. Did you? What about okay, Neopets? Well, it wasn't year 10 then. It was year 7, I what feel. What about Neopets? Um, school's a funny one, especially back in those times. Um, before we all had social media and stuff. It's wild. In a time where there was no social media, there was a few rumors that were worldwide recognized in school without Messenger, without Facebook, without YouTube, all these things. People just knew yeah. for a fact Marilyn Manson took out his ribs so he could suck his own dick. Right. Everyone knew that. Everyone knew that. I don't that. even think it's true. But Yeah, but that was like the thing that you learnt and like then spun. Yeah, and at it was school. and you know how there's the um uh, it's 2024, so I just call them whispers yep. that get passed around. Um, and it usually... <laughs> yeah, shit. In China, are they just called whispers, though? <laughs> Wait, what yes. is it? Yes. Okay. Um, but you know how, like, the story changes, and that's the whole thing of that concept. And that's where did it gets... start then? What yeah, do you where think? Yeah, where did it start? And then also, um, the story didn't change. It was exactly the same. What other ones? What other um, ones did we, like, rumour at school? Blue's Clues killed himself with the pencils up his nose. Yeah. Yes. And then the car just pops up. Like he's a on week TikTok ago. now. He's unreal. Yeah. He goes, have you seen his TikToks? And he's like, he goes, hey guys, hey guys um, how are yeah. you going? I'm just checking in on you. How are you doing? I'm, I'm like, no, co- brother, how are you? No, <laughs> I you honestly, Brooke, I, he got me. I cried. I got teary-eyed watching his video. That's it was a, sweet. That's what, crazy. Uh, what else did we, um, yeah? Uh, the, the chick from a neighbouring school in the, in the science class. <gasps> what we don't one? know this one. Oh, was using it and then it broke? Yeah. That's as far as we'll go with that one. Um, <laughs> That's wild. Oh, and then, How do we all know that? Like you and were then, all, We're all from different areas. But then I think this is also, it's definitely Aussie, New Zealand. I know, I'm not too sure if it's worldwide. But in late high school, it was like, guys, don't do acid. This person tried to go into a festival 
and they hid the they had a sheet of acid like heaps of squares and they hid it um in their sock or something and it leaked into their skin and they're still to this day in a mental institute and they think they're a glass of orange juice and if you touch them they'll spill out huge if true yeah is he <laughs> oh whatever i don't believe a word that comes out of um southland stan's well, mouth Nah. Well, we just had going on the body, eh? Um, um but yeah, those are wild. Like do 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 people are there rumors like that now for twelve year olds? Like thirty I would 40 love years? to know what the rumors are for twelve years right now. Imagine going up to like your nephew, niece or something, you're like, Hey, you're a twelve year old. Um, do you know if Marilyn Manson sucks his own dick? Uh, or do you have a similar rumor? Wait, and bro, they're just like, heavy. I don't think you can say no, that to a twelve year old. A- um, on the whole things that I shouldn't seen. Things that I shouldn't have seen. Mm. Back on the old Matt subject, things that I shouldn't have seen. I put the call out. Brooke put the call out. Yeah, we're looking for things, things that you shouldn't have seen, but you did. And this is all going to be anonymous because some heavy ones have come through. <laughs> Would you like to start? Yeah, I got this one. This was the first one that came through on my one. Yeah, Year Eleven PE saw stepsis porn. Stepsister porn open as a tab on my male teacher's phone. What? what if it was like, oh yeah, could you change the song of the Yui no. Boom? And then it's like one of the tabs was like, no, I Stepsis. absolutely can't deal with that. That is, there's something seriously wrong with that. Um, my little cousin, my little cousin walked in on her au pair, like the nanny, the nanny getting bent over the dining room table. <laughs> I feel like a lot of these are going to be quite sexual orientated. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, oh. Isn't all pairs French? Yeah, I think so. Walked in on my flatmate fapping in the lounge once. No, I actually hate that. So imagine, could you ever look at them again? I couldn't. I couldn't live with them. I know this person did. Um, next, <laughs> my high school maths teacher on the floor in a pile of her own vomit at the pub I worked at. Good on her, you know. Oh, this is probably like fuck she this algebra shit. <laughs> I I'm teaching these kids algebra, and I know they're not going to use it, but I've got to fucking do it. Fifty <laughs> uh, year old neighbour with a tits out had the bathroom window open. I'm scared. <laughs> oh no, scarred. <laughs> probably scared as well. <laughs> Walked in on my flatmate having sex in the lounge on the couch. Tried to say they were watching. Ah, I don't have the end of that. Oh. Damn it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It might be in me old. Oh, here we go. Said they were watching TV, but it was off. It was 2 a.m. and I just wanted my Uber Eats. <laughs> um, old fella leaving the retirement village naked with a stroller. <laughs> oh. oh, that's sad, eh? That'll be broken. Sorry, heavy. Um, when I was a kid, I saw my parents filling my Santa sack. Oh, yeah. That's not a sexual one. There's no children watching this, is there? You know, not. Well, no, because we're not on live radio, and I don't think anyone would let their kids watch this. This is scary territory for us. This is like our number one rule as broadcasters, never talk about that. Um, maybe we put a disclaimer. We'll, put, we'll redo a disclaimer. Uh, at the start of the potty, going, this is an R18 episode. Well, that's also a good way to get people in. Yeah, true. Uh, this one here, this is juicy, because people be people could um, be like, who is it? I saw a guy from Love Island, Australia, get blow darted in my garage once. <laughs> How many, con- there's only so many contestants, so many, so many dudes, only so many garages. Love Island, Australia. I watched there. Watched my neighbour smoke a J naked in his garden in the moonlight while eating a banana. That sounds... No, I'm not even a J smoker, but that sounds like bliss for that person. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just about to say that. I don't smoke weed, but that smells... If I was going to, I'd want to do it like that. I've once... Um, this is a slight digression. Um, in the evening or first thing in the morning, either the bathroom... Like, if the bathroom was being used... Um, I've like gone outside to take a wee. And this is not even like on the piss or anything. And it's just been like a beautiful still evening... And I just stand, middle of the lawn, wing on lawn, just looking up at the stars and the moon. It's, just it's like, so gorgeous, isn't it? It's, or like first thing in the morning, like yeah. 6 a.m. if someone's having a shower, you're just out there having a wee. Good on you, B. You do that. 
my boss's butt crack while he was bending over to pick something up. Like, probably honestly, daily. why? Why? Another digression. How do you not feel that? How do you that? not feel that? How do you not feel it? You know how, um, <laughs> so this is, you know how boomers got real angry when people wore their satin boxes sticking out heaps from their pants. They're like, oh, pull up your pants. Blah, 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 blah. And then now most people will wear maybe just the band of their underwear is showing. And it's not really a fashion statement anymore or anything like that. It's just to know and have faith that your ass crack isn't hanging out. And so if mine is like even on the verge of getting anywhere near the top of like the crack starts here, it's first up here. I'm starting to be like, oh no, that's getting close. Yeah, like you can feel it, right? How do you not feel that? Honestly. Sort it out. This one's real heavy. (laughs) Okay, I'm interested. Hold up. Flatty putting their leg up on the dining table to insert a tampon wearing my undies. See, there's a bit to unpack with this one. Um, I mean, that. Uh, I wonder what the thing is. I wonder what the thing is that is the most shouldn't have seen. Is the is the inserting the tampon? They might be like quite close friends, and it's like like oh sorry, I just got to do this. Even yeah. though it's like maybe the dining room area probably isn't the um, area for sanitary reasons um, things. But I think, I reckon the catalyst is the their underwear. I know. But then also, you could flip it and be like, your besties, you kind of do just wear each other's undies maybe sometimes if you need them. But then also... But then you're like, hey, would you be like, hey, you just keep those ones now? Yeah, 100%. You know? 100%. I mean, this is, that's not really territory I've ever stepped in. Um, <laughs> assuming that they're female. <laughs> oh. That's right, it might be the dude. There, yeah, Arzi wears my undies to bed because dude's undies are way more comfortable. <laughs> True. I actually had to buy her, her own pack. For, um, <laughs> no, I was like, but it also could be a man putting it in. <laughs> that's what I thought. Bro, that's what I thought. Chief was talking about. It's like could be a man, like putting it up his ass or something. <laughs> oh yeah, I've just got a bit of a um, just got barley belly. I just need to plug it. <laughs> oh, that'd probably be if you need if you've got to go on a long flight and you don't have the money to book a new one and you got barley belly just plug it chuck a couple up there even like no. a beaver dam signed into the family ipad and first thing that was opened was a dick pic my brother had sent on facebook <laughs> imagine seeing your brother's cock honestly i don't think you could go back from that i really don't oh man all right keep coming when i was little i brought my mum's dildo to school <laughs> <laughs> like a show and tell I suppose I. Like, <laughs> They're all bringing their pets. <laughs> bringing the fucking rubber ducky. <laughs> You've got a few up there. Yeah, good day, boys. Um. Right. Oh, this is sad. But they've shared it. <laughs> <laughs> My stepmum's diary that had notes in there saying how much she didn't like me. What a fucking bitch. I suppose it's like, is that. It'd be very confronting, but then also it would be like, hey, I'm never going to like try and, um, you know, I, I'm always doing things to make this person like be accepted by this person. You'd be like, fuck, fuck them. them. Yeah. It's done. Hard. I don't need to put on put on a front for them anymore. Yeah. I hope that person. I hope you got through that. Yeah. I hope you got through that. Um, my boy, not my parents having sex, my boyfriend's parents having sex. That's, I reckon that's hard. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. got heaps. Are you happy with me keeping? Yeah, because on? yeah, yeah. I I was just doing the ones off my personal, and these are like the drive ones, or these are my oh, I mean personal ones. So you might be able to look at the drive ones. Oh, yeah. Um, bikey fucking a girl on the side of the road, bent over a park bench at a highway rest stop. Now that is the stuff. That's living. That's living. That's, eh? Hey, when I when I hey the weeks are getting closer. Remember when we spoke about me getting a certain motorbike to rent or to to loan to get given. Hey, maybe that's the... That that's the thing. Is there room for you and Arzi? Yeah. They yeah. can unfold. <laughs> Fuck yes. We'll get one of those three cams. Con- you want content? We'll give you content. <laughs> yeah, he was just buying a paywall. <laughs> um, my flatmate's boyfriend thought no one was home and ran naked to the bathroom. Little did he know, three of us were debriefing the night in my room and saw his whole piece. <laughs> Anonymous, because him and Flatty think we saw nothing to say their dignity. My stepdad doggying my mum. Just the like. That's a hard one to just, swallow, eh? Yeah, the the use of the like exact position as well is like, you really got a good look. <laughs> yeah. 
a man wanking on a bench at a cemetery in Pukekohe. Look, if I died and I was buried, I'd expect you to come do the same. <laughs> oh, I want you to come not. and give me some loving still. No, okay, maybe not wank, but I would like you to sit there and maybe think about it. <laughs> that's still pretty grim, but that's oh, well, I would like you to think, hey, I miss my chick. Um, and Brooke, what have you got? <laughs> this one here, someone saw a white claw can fit inside a whole foreskin. That's quite big, because they're, they're, they're about that long. See that. Or like, or they, I don't know, maybe it's just something they didn't want to see. <laughs> Witness some illegal fish trading in a small town while on edibles vibing in a car. <laughs> That's Ill- fake. Illegal fish trading. It's probably actually just someone like giving their mate a fish they caught. They're like, That's illegal fish trading. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, <laughs> I was having a laugh with my mate about enemas one day. Saw him two months later giving himself one. <laughs> Why was he doing that to himself? I don't know. Wait, hold on. Is that when you put something on your bum hole? Isn't that when you're just cleaning out your bum? Yeah, but why is he doing that to himself? You're supposed to go to a doctor. Oh, no, that's what that's called douching, isn't it, as well? Is he is, is he saying that he caught his mate putting something up his bum? Is that what he's saying? No, nah, because they were laughing about enemas, and then two months later he saw his mate giving, doing one to himself. Because that could be, like, he could be into that. He could be... Yeah, you know, like he could have like actually walked on his mate, like giving himself one, like having fun. Oh doing yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or preparing to have fun with someone else. Yeah, true. Preparation is key. <laughs> Thank you, Brooke. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brooke. Thank you. I mean, uh, no, I mean, <laughs> golf. Oh, this <yeah>. is <clears throat> golf. Guy looking for his ball, thought I wasn't looking, dropped a second, yelled, found it. <laughs> That's cheating. How could anyone? I couldn't live with myself if I cheated. Like you're that. just, um, you're just cheating yourself at that stage as well. Uh, last one here. Crook things that we've seen that we shouldn't have. I went to Chromecast to my TV, and saw that my stepdad was casting porn to his TV. <laughs> That's like the classic one where someone connects <laughs> and they're watching, and it's like connect. It's connected to a Yui boom somewhere in the other, and somewhere in the house. I'm like, why can't I hear it? They're turning the volume up, and it's. In a room, just screaming. <laughs> Wouldn't know. Uh. <laughs> was staying at a hostel that was owned by a lovely old couple. <laughs> Here we go. Went to check out, and I saw the old fella jumping in the spa completely naked. <laughs> Got a glimpse of his wrinkly ass and everything. I love it. I, wonder, I bet that was in like a Scandinavian country. Yes. You yes. Know? And he was just that's just that's just usual. That's the usual for Gertrude. Yeah. Or Gunter. Yeah. Gertrude's the wife. Gunter's the man. <laughs> man. I'm the man around the house. Gunter. Why am I now American? I thought I was Scandinavian. Anyway, yeah, last we'll one. come back to that. Um, last one here. This is my favorite out of this. These are, this is my favorite response out of this whole thing. My wife accidentally showed me a photo of her in her wedding dress weeks before our wedding while showing me pictures of a trip she took with friends. She panicked, then nearly bawled her eyes out, and I had to act as though it didn't register in my brain, and I still didn't know what it looked like. I still cried during the first look photo and cried again when she walked down the aisle. She decided to donate the dress to a company that helped low-budget brides find their dress for I Do. Oh, man. Wasn't that like that to me? That was genius. He played on the dumb the dumb guy yeah. in the wedding planning area. I feel like area. to that person, you have got such a beautiful little heart and soul, and also, obviously... The, them together just they just fit, sound like beautiful people, mm. don't they? Yeah, that's the thing. There's like, obviously, I won't have it because I don't, I won't be wearing a wedding dress, and it's quite like a for a lot of people, it's quite like a the big symbol. You, you know, could get do in if you wanted to be. This is true, um, but a lot of people kind of hang on to them as like a a symbol. Memoir. Thing. Yeah, and it's and it's one of those things like they maybe do they get it on for their like. 30th wedding anniversary or something like that but other than that kind of well it just sits in the very big expense yeah very big deal and then yeah i guess it sits but i think like for me i'll be like one and done yeah i'll I'll put it on and then fucking sell it facebook marketplace we'll be doing an episode about sin's wedding dress oh yeah (laughs) um accents oh yeah please brooke because notoriously brooks are very good at a lot of things accents i don't know if he is 
But there are some rules, Brooke. <laughs> we're not doing all the accents, okay? Nah. So there's a few that we're not going to do, and I think you know which ones those are. But what I would like you to try I know, and do... I know the continents that steer clear of. <laughs> okay, cool. I think. Um, <laughs> give me an English accent. Oh, see, this is the annoying thing, because there's many different English ones, and... I've got to, I've got to like think of someone who's English and the what they would say and then start it. But and I, I even I legitimately used to have an English accent because I was born there and I lived there till I was eight, <laughs> yeah. and then I came to New Zealand and lost it. And so now I feel like a no, fake fan. I feel like a fake fan. Would you like me to get a English accent up so you can try and copy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. Because I don't want to do the whole like you're right, governor, whatever, you know. Hold on, that's an ad. They're not paying for this. Yeah, get out of here, Grandma. <laughs> Fuck off, Purina. Oh, yeah. Just in case you want to... I'm keen. Okay. Real Life English Fluency Coach. And today English fluency we're taking coach. an in-depth look at a range of British English accents. British English accents. <laughs> You've got nice legs. <laughs> <laughs> um... Now, we, let's do the one we all know. Let's do the one that... Oh, no. Brooke, I'm good at. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, can I not... Can, no, I, not can I not go to the tip of that continent? No, Just you cannot. Just the shark tooth at the no, bottom? No, I don't think you can. See, this is... this. I won't do it. Less. <laughs> um, hey, no cancel zone. This is not Brooke being mean or trying to take the piss out of anyone, but he does love doing this accent. I think as well... Um, I grew a lot of appreciation for this accent because I worked with a lot of South Africans <laughs> okay, yeah, on the boat. That. Run with that story. <laughs> that clears you. <laughs> but, but, I don't, <laughs> you go know, on, go on then. Do the South African accent. All right, though, eh, mate? Uh, so, uh, uh, so me and my girl, Sinead, so uh, we're heading down to my mate's Brai, eh? and um, it's in Joburg, uh, Johannesburg, for any of uh, you... Um, you out of town as they, and so on the way we thought, hey, why not? Hey, my girl Sin's never been to Kruger National Park. Uh, she's got to see the Big Five. They got to, I got to show what it's about the uh, the real life, uh, you know, Africa, the heart of it, you know, the Big Five. What are they? Uh, what the buffalo? Uh, you got those big boys, big horns. <laughs> uh, the uh, the uh, the big dog of the jungle, the African elephant, man, the stature. Beautiful. Um, and that's about it. I'll, um, I'll just stop there. Very good. Very accurate and inspired by your great friends on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Yasis. American. Ooh, like Southern maybe? What, I, I, it's, it's, I've, what's, the, what's the scenario? Okay, you're an American man that's walking into a gas station. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, hello, sweetie. I was coming, fill up, fill up my tank, 98 octane. <laughs> See, I'm bouncing between too many states. <laughs> Got to narrow in. <laughs> Got to think about like craw- Is that the issue? <laughs> Got to cr- think about like crawfish or something. Like gator, gator, <laughs> Florida, gator. Okay, man. you're a French woman. Oh, bonjour. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I'm going to give you the fucking scenario first. You're a French woman that has just... That is a judge in a cat competition. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> uh, so a lot of people ask, why, uh, Mademoiselle Brooke, why you such a deep voice for a woman? <laughs> uh, I, and I reply, I like cat. <laughs> I like the chat. Chat, that's uh, French for cat. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> Nice. Very good. Are uh, we wrapping up the accents now? <laughs> no, I feel like it's so entertaining. What else can I make you do? I've got one. Yeah? No, I don't. <laughs> now do a Southland accent. New Zealand Southland. Uh, I've got to get into that. What's the line? Uh, work, purple work shirt. Or uh, uh, hidden down. Or um, uh, stand me, man. Uh, he's got the purple work shirt. Uh, he eats a lot of Swedes. <laughs> Wait, it went slightly American at the end. <laughs> I'll just end with that. I really like it. I think I'd be pretty good at accents. Go on. Um, Korean. <laughs> <laughs> North Korean. 
No. North no. Korean's on the table, I reckon. I don't think I could do that one. <laughs> <laughs> but I did have some mates that were Korean <laughs> on a boat. <laughs> oh, man. Um, next week, I'm reviewing um, Bill Tong. <laughs> yeah, it came. Yeah, it actually is fucking mean. Eh? Yeah, you do the love place in Bill Albany. Tong. That's right. Straight off the zzz. How many grams do you want? Two. Zzz. Um, Brooke Gibson, you have uh, a great deep desire to do a stand-up comedy show one day. Uh, I think, I don't know if it's like this crazy deep desire. I would actually, I would like to do one and it to go well, but I reckon that's one of the, I reckon it's a very, very scary thing. Like I've done a lot of things and I reckon going and doing a stand-up set is to me one of the scariest things. 100% agree. Because it's like, there's nothing worse than no one laughing at yeah, your and fucking joke. Because that's literally the point, And that's hey. the point? Oh, my so, God. So you're at, like, a party and your joke doesn't land. People are just kind of like, oh, whatever. And you like, you don't need to stand up there for another five minutes and crack on. It's like, um, yeah. you know, it's like if you had too many beers and your doodle's not working quite right, you, you, but you're still just giving it a good old crack, you know? <laughs> Wait, you know, you know what also, which would be hard for you, is you know how you like, like, um, a compliment first and then some feedback if yeah. they're not giving you the compliment it's, you wouldn't be able to like you wouldn't l- know how to like continue on yeah 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 you'd be like ooh oh the whole like you haven't got crowd the, like, and you've got you a, haven't got the um, what do they call it the- cause yeah I definitely um, when I'm at my best is in like very casual scenarios and when I start feeding off People were, oh, they're loving this. Okay, I'm running with this. You are drunk on the laughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, but it, but it would be like that at a comedy fest because people that are coming to your setup show know your humour and will think you're funny. So you will be thriving yeah. at a Brooke Gibson stand up. Like you will be drunk on the laughter. Yeah. You'll go off script. I mean, yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. I'd, I'd be, it'd be dangerously off script, I reckon, every now and again. And I'd be like, hey, you know, I was going to do this, but change your plan. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it is the. It is the there's a bit of a plan, not really in motion. I've just kind of thought about it because I feel like I want to do one. So then I'm eligible to possibly be asked to go on a certain show that only um, technically like comedians stand up. Because New Zealand doesn't have the hugest pool of stand up comedians. So I think the show here uh, opens the door a little bit wider. Yeah, that's to, good. Like, general funny people on TV. Yeah, good. I'm going to put something to you. You can say yes or no. Yeah. Write us something, something small. Yeah. And test it out on the rumpus room next week. On the week. rumpus room next week. Yeah. Like a little 30 second, one minute stand up. Yeah. All right. I'll, test I'll definitely it out try. On us. I'll definitely try. I suppose, <laughs> I suppose G Boy better laugh at it. He's the only person in the crowd. <laughs> oh, you got to, um, yeah, I'll, that's the thing because stand up's funny as well. It's not like creating a joke, it's like creating something relatable. And turning it into a funny story. Which you're great at. So yeah. I think let's commit and get this going. Next week, we meet back here. The Rumpus Room, episode nine. Brooke yep. Gibson tests out some stand-up material on us. What do they call it? A Netflix special. Yeah, Brooke Netflix Gibson. special. Brooke Gibson, YouTube special. <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, I'll give it a go. Yes, yeah, sweet. Like I can't wait. I will, I've got to get a... Um, I've got to, I'll have to stand to do it. So yep. then once I do it, G will tilt the mic. I'll tilt that one camera thing. Yep. I'll, I'll need to be moving. You'll need to be moving. I'll need to be moving. I'll have the, they always have a water bottle. Yep. And a stool, yep. usually. Well, you know, you never know. I might be able to get in touch with, like, Di Henwood or something to come and give you a few tips and tricks. That's probably even scarier. <laughs> no, that's good. You get to learn from the best. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Or Reese Darby. Derby. Yeah. Darby. Darby. Yeah. Um, what yeah. are those cunts up to now? Probably like lots of film and stuff. Um, yeah, I think they do like lots of film. Uh, Di Henwood did the Pie Awards, emceed the Pie Awards last year, not the ones that's been amazing. Talk. He's f- yeah, he's just one of those so effort- naturally effort- effortless. effortlessly gets up, emceeing. He's not there to do a stand-up show, but he's just it's just funny and it's just says yeah, stuff he's and this great, and that. Eh? And like, yeah, they've got a knack. Yeah, but yeah, right, little little. Um, a little hors d'oeuvre of stand-up, if you will. Keen, I can't wait. Stay tuned for that. Um, tomorrow on the show, we've got um, Sub Focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sub How Focus. How exciting. We've actually got him in for Does It Double, guys. This does it, Oh, that'll be out on our socials. Go check out the video of um, Sub Focus. I was about to say Stan Walker. That's niche. Go Imagine check out. Everyone does a double. <laughs> that actually could be key one day. Um, go check out the video on the Georgia Film Drive Instagram of Sub Focus doing Does It Double. We won't yep. actually... 
We don't was know it how good? T- Let us know in the comments. Was it good? Because we don't know yet. Okay, we'll meet you back here next week for Brooke's big stand-up special. And I better see you laughing in the comments uh, because I can't see you laugh in real life and hopefully you do, but comments will be good enough for me. Yeah, nice. All right, thanks guys for tuning in and we shall see you in the next one. (laughs) That's you and Ozzy on the motorbike. (laughs) Uh, uh.